The Champions League round of 16 draw finally took place and gave us much more emotion than usual. We'll tell you how UEFA screwed up and why it was forced to have the draw twice. Talk about the frantic intrigues of the Real PSG confrontation and, of course, Sergio Ramos' emotional reaction to the news about the upcoming meeting with his former club. Let's begin. You probably know that UEFA had to draw twice, and instead of the original pairs, we got these. Let's talk briefly about the reasons for the redraw. It all started when Manchester United joined Villarreal in the first draw. These teams couldn't play against each other in the round of 16 since both were in the same group. But this was only the first red flag. After that, a fatal error occurred. When choosing an opponent for Atletico, the Manchester United ball was not put into the ball. There was no reason for that, which means that this mistake influenced the whole further draw. Subsequently, this forced UEFA to do it all over again. In an official statement, UEFA blamed the incident on the software failure. But it's up to you to decide whether it was actually a technical error or just negligence of the people who carried out the draw. However, the draw scheme itself is quite simple and there is a possibility that UEFA only made up the reason for the failure so as not to ruin its reputation. Most of the hype over the decision to redraw was caused by Real Madrid. It's not surprising because firstly, Los Blancos initially got a fairly acceptable opponent, Benfica. And secondly, Madrid demanded to keep their pair with the Lisbon Giants because all the problems during the post draw began after it was formed. In any case, after the incident, the redraw had to be carried out and any other decision would seem very strange. However, Real had another hidden reason for causing a scene. Anything that tarnishes UEFA's reputation is like a holiday for Florentino Perez, given their confrontation over the Super League, and the president of Real would benefit from this situation anyway. And if the first draw gave us the confrontation between Messi and Ronaldo, then the second one took the intrigue to the max, as we will see the battle between Real Madrid and PSG in the Champions League round of 16. And it's just awesome! Leo Messi had just left La Liga, but Real Madrid immediately found him in the Champions League. So we will see the Argentinian at the Santiago Bernabeu again. And this is great. Throughout his career, Leo played 45 matches against Real Madrid at Barcelona, in which he scored 26 goals and made 14 assists. He is the best scorer in history of El Clasico. Needless to say, what a nightmare Messi was for the Los Blancos over the years. Nevertheless, in the last seven El Clasico games, Leo did not manage to have a single effective action. In general, the history of PSG's number 30 only fuels our interest in the confrontation. And the craziest thing is that Leo Messi is the least of all intrigues. And here's why. That's because there is a player like Kylian Mbappe, who has never really hidden the fact that his dream is to play for Real one day. We remember how badly he wanted to change clubs last summer and is very likely to be in Madrid at the end of this season. You know that Kylian's contract with the Parisians and this summer and in a month he will be able to sign a preliminary contract with the new club. And this club will most likely be Real. This means that when PSG will play with Real in February, Kylian Mbappe could face Los Blancos. In fact, being a footballer of that team. We wonder how Mbappe would feel. Here's another juicy reason for watching these matches. But it's not the hottest one either. After all, we'll be able to see Sergio Ramos return to the Santiago Bernabeu as a player of another side. Ramos will play against the team in which he became a legend of world football, won many titles, was its heart and soul for many years. The topic is further heated up by the fact that the player and the club parted on a bad note. This should only serve as an additional motivation for Sergio. We can only hope and believe that Ramos will be able to finally heal his injuries and get into the best shape possible for the matches against Real Madrid. After all, we want to see these confrontations with Ramos on the pitch. 
Here is how Sergio himself reacted to the draw. I would have loved to face another team. You know how much I love Madrid. The fans, that will never change. You have to face the present. I'm at PSG and I'm going to defend my team. I'll do everything I can for us to qualify. It looks like the emotional intensity of the confrontation will be pumped up to the max. Just imagine Casemiro's face when he fouls Leo Messi and sees Sergio Ramos charging at him to defend the Argentine. Please make it happen. Let's not forget that Angel Di Maria and Keylor Navas will also return to Madrid. And if this is not enough for you, then here's some more. The battle between Real Madrid and PSG is not only a fight on the football pitch, but also a struggle for power outside of it. Let us remind you that PSG, led by Al Halifi, were one of the main forces that joined UEFA in their confrontation with Florentino Perez when he intended to create the Super League. And if Real Madrid manages to beat PSG, then Florentino Perez will have the opportunity to show once again how important his club is to UEFA and that without him the Champions League will lose its status. In case of PSG's success, UEFA will be able to feel confident in their abilities because the club that is on their side defeated the opponent. It should be noted that the last time Real and PSG met at the Champions League round of 16 stage, Real eventually won the tournament. It was in 2018. Oh yeah, the first match will take place in Paris on February 15th, and the second leg will take place in Madrid on March 9th. We rub our hands in anticipation of a great two-part show. Tell us in the comments below your predictions for the winner of the pair. Of course, the PSG Real confrontation cannot be surpassed in terms of audience interest in entry. However, here are a few more things to watch out for. Manchester United will play Atletico, which means that we will see Cristiano Ronaldo fight against Diego Simeone again. The last time their confrontation was remembered due to these wonderful gestures. Cristiano extravagantly responded to Simeone back then, having scored a hat-trick for Juventus in the second leg after losing 0-2 in the first match. And in general, Atletico are one of Ronaldo's main clients. He scored 25 goals in 35 matches against them. Los Colchoneros goalkeeper Jan Oblak has conceded only three hat-tricks in his entire career and all of them were from Cristiano Ronaldo. Also, David De Gea will come to visit his home club. The Spaniard has been in Manchester United for 10 years now, but he is an Atletico product. In another pair, Liverpool will travel to San Siro for the second time this season. The Merseysiders met with Milan at the group stage and now they will fight with Inter. Well guys, that's it for now. Let's be patient and wait for the Champions League to return. Bye.